So we're very happy to welcome you to Columbia University to celebrate our newest Nobel Prize winner, newest Nobel laureate, Professor Joachim Frank, Professor of Biochemistry and Molecular Physics and Biological Sciences. Our congratulations first and foremost to Professor Frank, who shares this prize with Richard Henderson of the MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology in Cambridge, England, and Jacques Dubochet of the University of Lausanne in Switzerland. I'd also like to acknowledge Joachim's wife, Carol Saginaw, in the front, Lee Goldman, Executive Vice President and Dean of the Faculties of Health Sciences and Medicine at Columbia University Medical Center, whom I'll turn this over to in a moment, John Coatsworth, the Provost of the University, Richard Axel, University Professor at Columbia, and also a Nobel Laureate, and Martin, Marty Chalfie, 2008 Laureate, uh, Tom Maniotis, who leads the Precision Medicine Initiative and also was the Chair of Biochemistry, Liang Tong, Chair of the Department of Biological Sciences, and all of you from the Columbia University Medical Center and the Department of Biological Sciences in Morningside who are here to celebrate this moment. From his lab in the Black Building at the Columbia University Medical Center, Professor Frank was previously the winner of the 2017 Wiley Prize and the 2014 Franklin Medal for the methods he devised to turn images taken by electron microscopes of thousands of individual molecules at different angles into a finely detailed three-dimensional representation that allows all of proteins, protein molecules of life to be seen. This is the extraordinary work uh, that has been recognized by the Nobel Committee. Professor Frank joins more than 80 past and present Columbia faculty members and alumni over the years who have been awarded Nobel Prizes in a wide variety of disciplines from neuroscience to economics. This year's prize is a testament to the excellence of our biomedical research which brings together faculty members from across both the Medical Center Uptown and Morningside Heights. But today is Professor Frank's day, and we are proud to have him as our newest Columbia Nobel Laureate. And let me just say, personally, uh, this is the kind of work that uh, usually dates back many, many years and even decades. And so it's, uh, in truth, something that we share uh, with many institutions uh, in the world of, of basic research. And this is something that we take as an affirmation of what it is we do uh, in academic work in fundamental research. A person who lives by a desire to understand something better in the world is driven to do that um, and sort of selflessly uh, pursues that to the point where new knowledge is developed that has a profound effect uh, on humanity. Uh, so we take pride because this is a symbol uh, of what we do, not always as well uh, as uh, uh, these individuals by any means, but we strive for that. So, Professor Frank, congratulations to you uh, on this very special day. Now, and now a word from Lee Goldman. Lee? Well, I'd like to reaffirm what uh, President Bollinger has said. Also, congratulate Carol, but as you said, this is Yakum's day. It's really a uh, uh, extraordinary and, and uh, very special. He will probably tell you that at 518 when he was uh, more or less awakened, he wasn't necessarily sure whether it was the Nobel Prize committee calling or the dog simply barking to be uh, walked, but uh, uh, fortunately it was the former as well as the latter. Uh, Dr. Frank has really been a pioneer 
in the development of cryo-electron microscopy. As you heard, a technique that uh, provides imaging at a level that previously uh, was not possible. Uh, but what's really remarkable about him is this combination of being a developer of a new method that allows for pictures and measurements that previously were impossible, but also the uh, extraordinarily innovative application of that method. Initially to the ribosome, which is the uh, cell's factory, and uh, groundbreaking work describing how the ribosome works at a level that previously was not possible. Uh, papers in uh, uh, Nature, uh, for example, showing how the ribosome works in the uh, parasite that causes African sleeping sickness and uh, leading to uh, ideas about uh, how that disease could be uh, potentially treated. Uh, most recently, uh, his work with other colleagues at uh, the medical center is focused on ion channels, uh, the little holes in the membrane through which ions traverse and send the signals and make the cells uh, communicate and work together. Uh, again, groundbreaking work. Dr. Frank was born in Germany during World War II, received his undergraduate degree in the University of Freiburg, spent a fair amount of time at Munich, did some work at Berkeley, and came to the U.S. Uh, about 30 years ago uh, to join the Wadsworth Lab in Albany, and as Lee said, uh, people have often uh, contributed uh, at multiple institutions. We were very fortunate to recruit Joachim here in 2008, a primary appointment in biochemistry, a secondary appointment in biological sciences, and is from his lab in the Black Building and in collaboration with the New York Structural Biology Center, he's continued to do his groundbreaking work. Uh, been supported uh, by the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, uh, by the National Institutes of Health, and also by a philanthropist, including Lynn Shostak, whose gift of the cryo and electron microscope has really helped us move this uh, program forward. Uh, Dr. Frank has been a member of all the right societies, uh, but in reality, uh, today's award takes precedence over all of that. Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Dr. Frank's colleagues in biochemistry who helped us recruit him here, who have uh, helped him uh, with his research, uh, but again, Joachim, what you've done is truly extraordinary. Uh, Columbia, Columbia University Medical Center are proud of you. Uh, we look forward not only to honoring your past work, but also knowing there's great work ahead, important questions to be answered. And uh, this is not quite the beginning, uh, but we know there'll be a number of uh, extraordinary accomplishments and discoveries in your future. So on behalf of everyone at Columbia, Columbia University Medical Center, congratulations. This is an uh, extraordinary day for me, very touching, uh, humbling experience um, because I <clears throat> know that so many new things are discovered all the time and uh, it's sort of an, <clears throat> uh, the shots are, are, are very, uh, the, the odds are very long uh, to, uh, to get me to this place. And uh, <clears throat> I just uh, really, um, I'm supposed to be brief in my remarks. I'm <clears throat> I only want to say that um, uh, I, I wouldn't be here uh, without the incredible support by uh, very gifted uh, students um, uh, that I had the privilege to uh, <clears throat> have with me and be able to train the postdocs and students research associates uh, who all contributed uh, pieces of this, um, you know, immense uh, puzzle. And <clears throat> so I, I'd really like to uh, express my um, appreciation to, to Carol, my wife, for uh, the, <clears throat> the long and patient <clears throat> indulgence for uh, for my uh, absences, you know, mental absences, which <coughs> now you know how they have been spent. <coughs> um, and uh, I'd like to uh, also, <coughs> since uh, 
as um, Dean Goldman was mentioning, um, much of the time uh, here in America was spent at the Wadsworth Center. Wadsworth Center was a very nurturing environment <clears throat> and uh, for quite some time I was able to develop these, these methods. But I'd like to say that uh, the move to Colombia uh, was, <clears throat> was very instrumental in uh, me able to reach out and uh, develop contacts and friendships uh, with, with colleagues uh, over <clears throat> departments, uh, uh, across departments. And um, I was also able to uh, draw from uh, brilliant students uh, that I was able to recruit here. And <clears throat> altogether, uh, the move to Colombia uh, was um, <clears throat> Uh, was, an, was a milestone for me, and I'm very grateful to my colleagues, uh, uh, faculty colleagues, uh, to the dean and the president for uh, making all this possible. And we are, we are in, a, in an important transition uh, because <clears throat> many people uh, want to um, uh, capitalize on, on, this, on this new technology, and uh, so uh, the uh, support for um, an <clears throat> instrumentation center and CRIEM facility uh, <clears throat> is, uh, is extremely important to make the dreams of, of many uh, of the people here uh, come true. And uh, uh, there has been um, a wonderful support uh, and there were generous gifts uh, <clears throat> that, um, that have made possible the uh, acquisition of, of new instrumentation. So thanks very much all around. was a very confusing experiment, uh, experience, uh, you know, because we, we mentioned this, this dog, and we've been anxious every morning because it's been waking up uh, earlier and earlier. And, uh, and, and today, uh, <coughs> I, 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 was, I was sure it's going to be woken up by the dog, but instead the, this phone call arrived. And then uh, <coughs> when, the phone, when the phone rang, I, I, I wanted to actually be sure that, that Carol didn't dismiss it as a, as a crank call because I knew the sensitivity of the date. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, so sure enough, uh, there was a Swedish accent and then everything that, that followed. Uh, so it was amazing. And all I could say over and over again, uh, this, this is wonderful news. I, I didn't know any, anything else to say to these people in, in Sweden, and they kept apologizing for waking me up so early. <laughs> <laughs>